Welcome to SME Hype, your number one spot for entrepreneurs. My name is Jerome. If this is your first time on our channel, you are welcome. Our video will provide you with the right information to help you grow your business and create wealth. If you're new and have not subscribed, why not? Hit the subscribe button and you can always change your mind. Now, let's talk about four tips on how to reduce your website bounce rate. This video will take you on a journey on how to reduce your website bounce rate. With so many businesses competing for online visibility, interaction is always the greatest road to success. But what if you have a large number of visitors who depart without interacting with anything? A bounce rate reduction plan is a wonderful method to make the most of the internet traffic you're getting, and to guide more of your digital marketing leads to conversion. To assist you in understanding how to reduce your website bounce rate, we have created a unique video that will show you all you need to know to get started. What exactly is the bounce rate? Why should the bounce rate be reduced? Four tips on how to reduce your website bounce rate. What exactly is the bounce rate? Before discussing how to reduce your website bounce rate, let's define bounce rate. We may use a simple example to better grasp bounce rate. Begin by pretending you own a physical business on a crowded street. Every day, a large number of individuals pass by your front doors. Some of them glance at the items from the outside and express an interest in them and a portion of those feels motivated enough to enter, but something doesn't feel quite right. Many of those people stop right outside the doors, take a glance around, make a weird expression, and then depart. Why should the bounce rate be reduced? As mentioned in the last subject, bouncing visitors are a missed opportunity. They are people that came to your website after a long digital trip and then departed without interacting. Engagement is far more essential than mere statistics when it comes to digital marketing. It makes little difference if you have a million visitors each day if none of them results in a single conversion. Because optimization is crucial, the bounce rate is significant. Companies who are at the forefront of the digital industry aren't always those with the most money to invest, but those that can convert as much as possible in relation to their budget. When you can make a great first impression, you can entice them to remain. These people feel compelled to investigate your website, your content, and your brand and each page they view brings them one step closer to a conversion. Not only that, but you have more time to familiarize yourself with them. Users who spend more time on your site are more likely to return. They make it a habit, which leads to sales, brand recognition, and loyalty. A smart bounce rate approach may help a firm boost conversion rates while using the same digital plan and budget they already have. It is a quicker and easier approach to broaden your reach. One. Investigate why visitors are departing so early. Let's return to the example at the beginning of this essay. People are entering your store, glancing around, and then leaving. What is the first question you have? You should be wondering what scared them away. Was it the arrangement of the store? Was there a contradiction between the expectations they created and what they discovered on the inside? Were the offers withdrawn? Perhaps the individuals you're attracting aren't interested in your brand. Each answer you uncover will provide a greater understanding of what you need to do to optimize your bounce rate. This is why it is critical to understand your consumer profile and base your approach on it. 2. Create a more enjoyable user experience. All of the questions above should lead your team to aspects, tools, and procedures that improve the user experience of your site. A good user experience begins with a speedy and well-structured website, but it extends much beyond that. It is the combination of visual components content, and interaction that meets and surpasses specific expectations. Use your buyer persona as a guideline once again. What are they looking for when they visit your website? What exactly are they looking for? How can you positively guide and even surprise them? Perhaps a revamp of your pages is required to make them more interested. 3. Ensure that your website is mobile-friendly. With the advancement of technology, there is an increasing range of screen sizes, input methods, and device capabilities that may visit your website. Many bounce occurrences occur when a visitor reaches your site but is unable to readily browse or see part of the content. A responsive site is designed to adjust to any of these variations, ensuring that you don't lose views due to a minor issue like that. 4. Create several landing pages. Number 4 on the list of how to reduce your website bounce rate is by creating several landing pages. Predicting entrance points to your site is a difficulty that businesses face when attempting to decrease bounce rates. It doesn't matter how good your main page is if the majority of your traffic originates from a blog piece that wasn't optimized for engagement. Landing pages are a fantastic option for this. 
They are particularly intended to serve as the best entrance point, with appealing layouts in CTA. Consider the chances you have to produce more of them and how you can modify your marketing approach to lead your traffic. Final thoughts. In conclusion of how to reduce your website bounce rate, just as beauty is subjective, so is what defines a good bounce rate. Some sites may consider an 80% bounce rate to be fantastic, while others may consider it to be disastrous. It is entirely dependent on your website and company objectives. Regardless, many site administrators and webmasters view bounce rate as an overall indicator of a site's stickiness or attractiveness and would prefer to minimize this problematic figure as much as possible. Some even believe that your bounce rate might affect your search rankings via Google's new machine learning algorithm RankBrain. As a result, optimizing this statistic is clearly in your best interests. We hope you have learned something new today from this video. Please feel free to like our video, as it helps YouTube show it to other people who might be interested in this topic. You can also share and leave a comment. Until next time, I am Jerome. Cheers and have a good one. It's about the journey.